Hello and welcome to Subtech Forum. Today we will be learning some uh, date functions available in SQL Server 2014. So before going to the SQL these functions, I would like to mention one one small data type uh, functions are available in SQL Server, which is data length. Data length data length function is nothing but the uh, same as like whatever length we are we are having in that uh, SQL Server. So data length. Uh, data length if you are seeing that uh, thousands like uh, that number and the same thing if you are using is with uh, length so you will be, you will be seeing that uh, you are getting that different values what is that that so the length is giving how many characters are there in that uh, particular expression um, but data length is giving how many bytes are being used to express that uh, may, uh, to express the particular expression so that is the number of character and that is number of bytes are being used to express it so uh, this is this is the exact uh, like main difference between these two data length and length but at the time of uh, when you were using that um, with any in characters or something then it, it, you, you will not find any difference let's say united states so United States, if you are using is a length also, you will be getting the same value. So you execute this four. So this seven, four, uh, sorry, four, seven, thirteenth you are getting for United States as a data length. Thirteen you are getting for length as a data length. Uh, United States. <coughs> sorry. So uh, that is the main difference between these two. You no, know? for character you will not get find any difference. For uh, other than character, you will find the difference between these two. Let us go through uh, the next uh, for date functions which are available in as a current timestamp. Current timestamp is just like a get date we are getting in the SQL Server 2014. So see that is the giving that um, now time whatever the time is available system time is there. So that is giving just like a system time whatever we will be getting with get date same thing you will be getting with current timestamp. So there will not such any difference between these two. Let us go to next uh, functions available as date uh, add. So returns it returns a specific date with a specific number interval added to a specific date part to it. So date add syntax is date add date part means how many years, how many months, how many um, minutes you want to add, and how um, like what is that you want to add, and there now how many numbers like uh, how many years, how many months you want to add, and top of it what date you want to add. Here you will be seeing the date parts are available like year, you can abbreviation you can give UI, quarter, quarter. So many abbreviations are available and everything I have pasted in the description of this video, you can go through once. So let us uh, see all these abbreviated date part uh, with an example. I have one query ready so that uh, it will be easy for us to understand. So let us see how many, uh, how you can get this to. So here I will be just executing this. Here I have taken a date as today's date with 13. Now, uh, now year I am adding is like year, one year top of this date. So you are seeing 17th year getting. So quarter also one quarter I have added, month also one month I have added, uh, and um, date of year is like date of year like in this year how one date I am adding and one day I am adding top of that then uh, one week I am adding and one week days I am adding so and then like one hour it is being added then one minute one second one millisecond and then one microsecond and one nanosecond you are seeing this no so in, in spite of this using also you can use some more abbreviations are available so abbreviations is what we, what do you mean by abbreviations like instead of year you can use as yy or y it will be the same thing not such any difference yy also so like that way you can go through you can go through this description of the video and you can use them multiple times so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video thank you